One day, God told the prophet Samuel that it was time for a new king and sent him to the house of a man named Jesse. Jesse had seven sons and brought out each of them to meet Samuel. Samuel told Jesse that David, his youngest son, would be the future king of Israel. Shortly after this, an army of the Philistines, Israel's enemy, set up camp on a hill right across the valley from Israel's army. For 40 days in a row, a gigantic Philistine warrior named Goliath would walk down to the valley and mock the Israelites. But one day when David was visiting the army camp, he heard Goliath taunting the Israelites and asked why no one was willing to fight Goliath. After getting King Saul's permission, David went down into the valley and shouted to Goliath, You come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty. Goliath and David charged toward one another. David pulled out a stone, put it in a sling, and flung it at the giant. The stone struck Goliath directly in the forehead, and then David killed him with Goliath's own sword. This victory caused David to become so loved and respected that King Saul became very jealous. Saul tried to kill David, but David escaped into the desert. One day, Saul was in a cave and David snuck up on him. But David could not bring himself to kill Saul. When Saul realized what had happened, he made a peace treaty with David, promising he would not kill him. But not long after, Saul became jealous and tried to kill David again. The Philistines attacked the Israelites and killed all three of Saul's sons. When Saul heard the news, he was so upset that he took out his own sword, fell on it, and killed himself. Then, David was named King of Israel. He made plans to build a giant building called a temple as a place to worship God. God said a temple would eventually be built, but by one of David's sons. One of David's descendants would become a king unlike any before, one whose rule would never end.